what's up guys and today I'm going to be doing a plugin called Tab List Deluxe. So if you guys are familiar with the tab button, it usually just displays the player's name. But with this plugin you can change the header, the footer, and you can even add stuff like live time on it. So like up there you guys can see that the time is ticking. That is pretty cool. And then the ping as well. So that's awesome. So if a player is like lost or they're unfamiliar with the server that they're on, they can easily just press the tab button. And if you want you can include the name of the server, like welcome to this server. And you can include that on there. And yeah, so it's pretty awesome, pretty easy to set up. So download this plugin, drop your plugins folder, and then restart your server. All right, so in the chat tab folder, inside of your plugins folder, you should see the config.yml. So this will bring you here, and then we have the header, and then the footer. So as you guys can see, it has the variables shown the ping and the time. I'm actually going to keep that, but I'm going to change welcome, the player's name, and then to UnoCraft. So there we go. And we can also change the colors, so you can type in any color code and anything after that will appear in that color. So now anything after that, which is UnoCraft, will appear in light green, so pretty cool. And then this pretty much means that whoever is looking at it, it will show their name. So it's a variable for anyone's name who is looking at it. And I am going to also change the prefix. And the prefix and suffix are just for permission X users, so if you have group manager then this won't work. But if you have permissions X, then it should read the prefixes and suffix that you have inside the permissions X config folder. But besides that, here we have our header and footer, so let's go ahead and save this and then restart our server. All right, so I'm back on my server and sweet. So it did change and it is now light green, the UnoCraft part. You guys can get really extreme and just make so many colors. You can even throw in like dashed lines and make it look organized and everything and it's going to look a lot better with a lot of players on because the list is going to be longer and it's going to be kind of separated from the header and footer a lot better so if you guys did enjoy this plugin tutorial make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and i will see you guys next time peace